Hi guys, welcome back to yet another fun DIY sailboat refit video here aboard good old Athena. Athena is a 1987 Warrior 38 that I've so far spent three years refitting. It's been quite the ride, complete with rebuilding the entire deck with new core and also a very thorough osmosis treatment. Earlier this summer I tore out all of the interior here aboard Athena to make some structural repairs. Those structural repairs are now completed and it's time for me to start rebuilding the interior, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. In case you're new to my channel, that should pretty much bring you up to speed. The reason I'm doing all of this work is because I enjoy it, but the end goal is for my fiance Ava and I to be able to move aboard and start cruising in one year, eight months, two weeks and one day, roughly. This week I want to install some more of the cabin sole, as you can see I've done over here on the starboard side already. And I also want to deal with the abyss that is the bilge here aboard Athena. First up is the cabin sole. Earlier this week I prepped a section of the hull and the new cabin sole for installation with two coats of epoxy primer and two coats of Sigma Dur 550. This has had a bit of time to fully cure in the blistering heat wave we're having right now, so this should be all ready to put together. I've got another video where I go into a little bit more detail about the cabin sole installation, so I'll leave a link for that down in the description and uh, let's just get on with this. And there we go, another piece of the cabin sole done. This might not seem like a big deal, but to me it kind of is, because being able to walk on a nice flat surface is a lot better than walking on the curved surface of the hull. So I'm really pleased with this. As you can see, I still need to put in some holes for accessing the storage underneath the cabin sole, and I also need to put in some limber holes down here. Now we'll get back to the limber holes tomorrow. For now, it is way too warm here inside the boat to work. It is the next day and the heat wave is finally over. It is a much more reasonable 20 degrees Celsius here inside the boat today. Even though it was hotter than the surface of the sun here yesterday, I still took care of a bit of prep work off camera. I cut and trimmed some of this 20 millimeter foam and then I proceeded to lay up glass on one side of it. Then this morning I came back and laid up glass on the other side. Once I've trimmed the excess fiberglass off of these, they're going to be the false bottom in my bilge. As I've mentioned before, I am not a fan of the insanely deep bilge here aboard Athena. And one of the previous owners seemed to have agreed with me on that because he put in a false bottom. However, he didn't do a very good job of it. About a year and a half ago, I pulled out an enormous amount of wet foam. Some of the previous owner's glasswork had failed and over a period oil and water seeped in, leaving a very nasty mess. I'm basically gonna be putting Athena back to the way she was when I first purchased her. Only I hope my glasswork will fare a little bit better. Before continuing, I'm just going to acknowledge real quick that there are some deep bilge aficionados out there, people that swear by deep bilges. That is perfectly fine. I'm not one of them. If you're one of them, that's fine. We'll just have to agree to disagree. What I'm doing here is putting Athena back to the way she was when she did her circumnavigation. So clearly, by having that modification, the boat is not going to spontaneously catch fire. This piece is going to be the false bottom in this compartment once I've trimmed the excess fiberglass. For me to be able to glass this, I first need to adhere it in place. I want to take care of that today so that I can glass it this weekend. I've got some prep work to take care of here. Like I said, I need to trim the excess fiberglass off of this and I need to sand all of the surfaces in this area. So, yep, you guessed it. It's time for some oh glorious sanding. <laughs> With the prep work out of the way, I can now go ahead and get this adhered in place. 
To help this stay put while I'm waiting for the epoxy, I'm gonna be adhering this in place with to cure. I'm gonna do something that might look a little bit janky. Ta-da! Now the last time I attempted to use the term janky, a lot of people thought I said Yankee, which of course was not what I meant, but uh, yeah. Here you can see I've used these blue strings to suspend the false bottom exactly where I want it. The clamps are here to make sure that these don't slide around on me, and as far as the four holes I drilled in the foam, well those are going to get covered by the tabbing, so that's not going to be an issue. I'm going to use a little bit of thickened epoxy to adhere this in place. Just a dab of 406 will do ya, but this stuff sands like a rock, so cleaning up any excess is well worth the effort. A nice little fillet down here should keep the false bottom in place while I lay up glass. I wish I had a spoon to make this little fillet, but all I have are my stir sticks, so this will have to do. I've cleaned up as much of the excess as I could, now I'll leave this to cure overnight. I'm not going to adhere the piece that's going to sit here in place, because it's just going to be lying on the surface like that. Welcome back to the workshop. While I'm waiting for that thickened epoxy to cure, there is something up here I can take care of. For me to install the rest of the cabin sole, which I'll hopefully do next week, I need some longitudinal supports over the bilge area, and for that I will use this larch. The larch will be secured to the structural members using a little bit of plywood, and those supports are going to look like this. Earlier this week I glued together some pieces of 12mm plywood using some more thickened epoxy and after a little bit of cleanup this is what they look like. And hopefully this can turn into this. All we need is a little bit of magic. A bit of sanding and maybe rounding over the edges and this should look pretty dang spiffy. The plywood supports here are of course going to get sealed with the same epoxy primer I'm using for everything else. Now let's head down to the boat and check on the false bottom. It looks like the epoxy is curing nicely, so I can go ahead and get rid of my little trip hazard here. I am going to wait until tomorrow to start laying up glass. I don't want to risk messing anything up here, but yeah, tomorrow I should be able to get all of this just the way I want it. Good morning guys! It is Saturday morning, I've got a lot of work to do today, so let's jump right in. Off camera I have prepared yet another piece of foam, this is the last piece we'll need. I've also modded one of the other pieces slightly, you'll see what this is about later. And then last night I took care of the little bit of excess fiberglass on the limber hole on the aftmost structural member. As you can see, now I've got a really nice limber hole here. Next step is to prep all of this for laying up glass. With the prep work out of the way, I adhered the last two bits of foam in place with yet more thickened epoxy. Because it's a little bit awkward to access this area down here, I'm going to wet out the glass before I lay it up down here. That way I won't spill epoxy everywhere and it's just going to be a lot easier. For that I've set up this little area over here with some plastic tape to the cabin sole and I've already cut all of the fiberglass, so let's get started. In an attempt to hopefully make my life a little bit easier, I am first going to take care of all the corners. This way I can hopefully avoid having a lot of fiberglass bunch up around the corners, but we'll see. That's the first three layers in each of the corners. This is all going to look a lot prettier once I've got all of the fiberglass in there. Next up are the long sides. 
Here we go. The first section is all glassed in and the timing is just about perfect. By that, I mean the thickened epoxy over here has started to gel, so now is the perfect time to add glass. I am going to have to be a little bit quick about glassing the last two sections there, so the thickened epoxy don't start to fully cure on me. So uh, yeah, enough yammering on, let's queue up a time lapse. <laughs> Just like that, the bilge is back the way I liked it. The astute will have noted that I've not yet poured any foam into the area underneath the false bottoms, and that is on purpose. I don't think I ever want to use that area as tankage because it's quite grimy down there, so the only thing I could actually put down there is probably going to be grey water, but I would like my grey and black water tanks to be removable, so yeah. But by holding off on pouring the foam down there, at least I've still got the option. I can always pour in foam later on if that's what I end up going with. Until then, I don't much like the idea of having an area on the boat where I don't know what's going on. So that's why I put in this little opening here. And in that, I am going to mount this spiffy looking thing. This is nothing fancy. It is just a little stainless steel access cover thingy that I can bolt on there. That should seal everything up nicely. Of course, I don't want that thing to start leaking. That would be pretty annoying. So that's why I put in this little bit of extra foam to raise it up a little bit. That way, when water trickles down here, it won't end up in the abyss. I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to work on the longitudinal supports for the cabin sole because I don't want a bunch of dust to end up in my new laminate. So I'll knock off a little bit early today and uh, I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Good morning guys! It is a grey and gloomy Sunday morning, but today promises to be an exciting day because today, to place the longitudinal supports, I have to temporarily remove the support for the cabin top. I'm sure it'll be fine, but exciting nonetheless. So let's go ahead and get started on those longitudinal supports. Here you can see the remnants of the old ones, and I've designed my plywood supports so that I can go ahead and reuse this piece of plywood that's separating the engine compartment from the saloon without any kind of modifications. The plan is to adhere two of these to each side of the structural members and uh, well, yeah, that should be pretty straightforward. I know the distance from here to here is exactly 26 centimeters, so using a bit of string and two heavy doodads, I can get everything lined up. This also shows me where I need to prep the surface of the structural members. Everything is prepped and as you can see I've cut my light here but it looks like I need to trim it just a tiny little bit. I think a quick little dry fit is in order before I commit to anything here. So let's see how this goes. That looks just about perfect to me. For adhering these in place, I am of course gonna be using thickened epoxy. Now, I really, really don't want this bond to fail. So I am just gonna pre-wet the surface here with just a tiny amount of epoxy. The trick here is to use as little as you possibly can because otherwise it gets very squishy and slidey. Yep, I think we've got it. Now because I'm not blessed with an unending supply of clamps, I am just going to use a couple of stainless steel screws to secure these while the thickened epoxy cures. Now that the supports are thoroughly secured, I can go ahead and remove the larch because I don't want that to become a permanent part of this just yet. 
That's the first two of the five supports in place. Now I just need to rinse and repeat over here. But before I can do that, I need to remove the cabin top support. I put this up to avoid having the cabin top sag over time until I've finished this area down here. So it's not like I'm expecting the cabin top to come crashing down when I remove this, but it never hurts to cross your fingers. And there we go, everything is lined up correctly. I'm gonna hurry up and remove these before the Thicknet Puck secures because there's no need to mount these just yet. Now let's get this support back in place. And that's basically gonna be it for this weekend's video. I'm gonna spend the rest of today while this video is rendering, tidying up here about the boat and dropping off a ton of stuff at the recycling center. This week I managed to prep this section of hull and get this piece of cabin sole installed. I also took care of the bilge and of course installed the plywood supports where there's gonna be openings in the cabin sole to gain access to the bilge area. I think I've made a decent amount of progress this week. As far as next week, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna be working on. I might attempt to put down the rest of the cabin sole, although it is doubtful I can do all of that in one week, or I might replace one of the old knees. I'll figure that out later tonight. But uh, yeah, that is gonna be the end of this video. As always, feel free to leave a comment down below and don't forget, if you've enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. See you.